today we're gonna make a curtain wall which is gonna be um, curvy so first uh, I'm gonna say open your family and I'm gonna pick this one here what you can see here is how the template looks for this family it's based on a rectangular grid on this curved uh, surface where this panel is going to be, all the panels will be slightly different. Therefore, it's quite important for us to actually be able to dimension uh, between the points. So we got, and we want to schedule that. Um, to be able to dimension between points, uh, you need to pick the align dimension tool. And then you actually need to set uh, your work plane. And the work plane needs to be set between the two points on that referent line that's been created already. Then you need to pick the adaptive point and pick the other adaptive point. And then you actually get uh, a dimension which is linked to the points and will actually actively move with the points. This we're going to do uh, for all the points. So we're going to select uh, the plane, and we're going to select the point, and we're going to drag out the dimension. And we're going to set the plane and pick the points. It's very important to pick the points um, and not uh, the, the other parts. Otherwise, it will not work. And you can always use your tap command to click through to get the right uh, object. A way to check if you have picked the points is to take your point, lift it up in the air, and if these two dimensions follow it, well, then you know it works. Then I'm going to save this family. Um, I'm going to save it as a curtain uh, unit. Save. Um, then I want a bit of depth in this panel, so I'm just going to say create form. And we're going to make it 3D. And we can set the panel to um, uh, to be less, uh, to, to be maybe 200. So it's a little panel here. Then I'm going to make um, a mass family, which is going to host my curved wall. So I'm going to go say new. Um, conceptual mass. I'm going to take a metric mass. Uh, so I'm going to draw um, a curved. Uh, so you can see I'm activating uh, the, the horizontal uh, work plane and I'm drawing on it um, a curve. Okay. And I'm going to just say. Um, pick the line again and say create form and it's uh, extruding my form and I'm gonna change it slightly um, to say edit profile and then I can go in and change the profile to be straight above uh, and here I'm gonna pick the point of that and then I'm gonna say okay and then we're gonna have quite a nice nice form um, that we would like to um, use as our panel, as our wall, and panelize it. So we're going to divide the surface, and it looks like the distance is a little bit big in the bottom compared to the uh, vertical. So I'm going to put in a few more um, numbers, and I'm going to put in 20 of them, and you can see it becomes a bit more regular. Um, then I'm going to go back to my panel here and I'm going to load it into my family 16. This is family 16. Then I'm going to click on my wall and I can see that there's no pattern taken. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to find my pattern. There's quite a few pre-made patterns already. Check out the, the checkerboard, uh, which is also quite a, 
a nice pre-made surface. But let's pick our own uh, uh, panel here. It's a curtain unit right there. Takes a little while. However, we have not yet um, set our dimensions in um, in the panel. So before we load it into the project, we're just going to go back to the panel and we're going to create the parameters um, for the dimensions. Here you can see the panels have been loaded in. So I'm just going to go back to our family here and um, I'm going to add some shared parameter. In manage, uh, you can find your shared parameters. You can see it doesn't really exist yet. So I'm just going to create a new one and I'm going to save it in here. Um, and then I'm going to make a new group and I can call it the uh, curtain panels. And I'm going to make a parameter called the uh, dim uh, one. It's a length. Um, which is correct. Say OK. I'm going to make a new one. So I'm going to make four of them, one for each uh, parameter. Oh, OK. There we go. Dim four. So I'm going to call this one dim one. So I'm going to go in here to my labels and say add parameter. We're going to share, uh, it's going to be a type, and it's going to be reporting, which is really important. And it's quite nice in uh, 2011. And I'm going to say dip one. I'm going to say OK, OK, OK. And then this is going to be dip two. I'm going to add again. I'm going to go into my shared parameters. I'm going to pick dip two, say OK. I'm going to click instance. I'm going to click reporting parameter, say OK. I'll do this for the third one. I'm going to say add parameter. Share, select, free. OK. Instant reporting. OK. And the last one. Add parameter. Share, instant reporting. I'm going to find it. Number four. Say sex. Just going to save it here before we load it. And then I'll load it in into family 16, which was the conceptual mass family. And here it comes. Yeah. Then I'm going to save this conceptual mass. I'm just going to save it as family 16. And I'm going to load it into a project called project 2. Not really working, but what we do need, we need to place it on a web plane. So it's going to be a bit large, very large. And we're going to zoom out. And here it is. And then we're going to just check it in how it looks like in 3D. So we're going to go into our schedules and we're going to go into a uh, view and we're going to make a new schedule and it's a uh, curtain panel and yeah then we're going to find our parameters and we have one dim one two three and four here pick all of them add them to the schedule say okay and then here we go here we have our schedule that was all, and thank you for listening.